Hello and welcome brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am Hosanna David. I am happy that the Lord has kept us alive and is taking us to the place that he has prepared for us. We know that after the troubles in the world, he will return even amidst the trouble and we will forever be with him in paradise, a place that is prepared for us, his children. I have a message from the Lord. This is a revelation that the Lord gave to me a few years ago and I have posted it on my websites iguayopna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. It is about the use of artificial eyelash. Uh, we know that the foundations of truth are being destroyed. And the Bible says that if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? In case you are you stumble on this video by mistake and you want to get offended, please, if you don't like the truth, you can just quickly resign and not listen to this video. Don't continue to play this video because a lot of people find faults with what I tell them. And, and I have no problem with that. The Bible says that at the end of the world, people will have a form of godliness and they will have itching ears. They will heap up teachers for themselves who will teach them what they want to hear, not actually the truth. So I don't have any problem. If you have problems, if you have challenges with my messages, with the truth, it is normal. There are those in the world hate the truth. The Bible says that Jesus came to his own, but his own did not receive him. They loved darkness rather than light. So if you're one of them, no problem. But I encourage you and also advise you to repent and love the truth because Jesus Christ is the truth. He is the way and the life. He is the truth, the way, and the life. So don't hate the life. Don't hate the truth. Don't hate the way. Thank you. The Lord revealed this thing to me about artificial eyelash some years back. And God told me that artificial eyelash is demonic. It is demonic. Some people may say it's made from fabrics in the industry. It's made to beautify, for females to beautify themselves. But I am telling you what the Lord revealed to me, that artificial eyelashes are demonic. You can go to biblicalsexualpurity.com or egoeyeopener.com and read in detail what the Lord revealed to me. I'm not going to give you the whole detail, but I just want to mention a few things about what the Lord revealed to me. I'm going to leave the link in the description box or in the comment below and pin it there so you can... Uh, do yourself good and visit and read for yourself what the Lord has revealed to me. And I also advise you to subscribe to my channels. You can go and register, especially biblicalsexualpurity.com is a community website where you can sign up and create a profile for yourself and ask questions and uh, also comments too. So this is what the Lord revealed to me. Uh, the Lord told me that artificial eyelashes were introduced into the world to distract the children of men from spirituality and being and be engaged in carnal deeds to discourage people as we all know worldliness is the opposite of godliness when people are worldly they they are they they, they hate the truth but when people are godly they love the truth we should be godly we should live soberly a sober and godly lives even as we await the coming of the Lord. That is what the book of Titus tells us. Then secondly, the Lord told me that artificial eyelashes were introduced by the devil to pollute humans. I tell you the truth, artificial eyelash has the power. Many of them, majority of them have the power to pollute humans. Many of them are possessed. When you read, you will see uh, the Lord told me that humans should learn and know that one's beliefs control the total, the totality of one's actions in life. If you see the eyes with which you see, if that eye is impaired, if that eye is infested, if your eyes are infested with the spirit of lies, Definitely whatsoever thing you are going to see in this world, you will see it from a wrong perspective. Go and read and you will get the whole detail about that. Then the third reason that the Lord gave to me uh, is that the third thing the Lord revealed to me is that artificial eyelashes 
are a hook of sexual immorality. Artificial eyelash is a hook of sexual immorality. Now, this is what I want to talk a little bit on. Uh, we know that God created beauty, but God did not create us to seduce people. If you look very well, artificial eyelash does not actually add to your beauty, but it makes people to look sexy. Now, if you look at the dictionary and check the word sexy, sexy means pornographic. Pornographic, it means intending to arouse sexual feelings, especially the feelings of others. So, when people try to dress sexy, they promote sexual immorality. I just preached a message this morning in church. What was the message? The topic of the message is, why did God create sex? I know a lot of people don't like to talk about these things, but we have, we have to address the challenge that we have at hand. That is why the Lord asked me, mandated me, to launch a website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. And I have a YouTube channel and or even a Facebook page. The YouTube channel the, the name is BS Purity TV. So you can, I encourage you to go and subscribe. The Lord has revealed a lot of things to me, how the devil promotes sexual immorality and make sure that everybody in the world becomes drunk with sex. So if you are a Christian and you are using artificial eyelashes, you, are, you have been deceived. It doesn't add to your beauty. God spent time to create a woman. God created a woman to look beautiful. But a lot of people are not satisfied with beauty alone. People now do different kind of surgeries in order to add to what God has done. And also makeup. What are you making up? When God finished the work of creation, he saw that everything he had made was good. So we humans devise means to fault God and tell God that what you made was not perfect. And we try to make it up with different chemicals and colors and different kind of things and do all kinds of surgery. I've posted a video about people who worship their own bodies. Please hear this morning and know that we will give account. We were created in the image of God after God's own likeness. We were created just the way we have different fingerprints so that we can have our unique identity so also the Lord created our faces to be different. So the eyelash that the Lord has given to us is a part of our identity. If you alter it and you fix in different kinds of chemicals and fibers and try to change the way you look because you want to look sexy, you want to seduce people, you want to uh, fulfill and satisfy your flesh, you will give account to the Lord on the last day. I have spoken what the Lord has given me to speak. I have written it down and I'm doing this video so that Christians will not say I did not hear. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hosanna E.E. E. David, Ego Eye Opener, or even BS Purity TV. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.